Hey everybody, we're back with Off the Highway. Tony Chris here and I'm with Gareth Higgins. That's right, Gareth Higgins. He is a writer. He um, is a spiritual director. He writes on topics like faith, justice, narrative, entertainment. Very, very uh, broad palette from this gentleman right here. Gareth, uh, you can find him at GarethHiggins.net. Question I've got for you today, buddy, is um, why do you think that God hides from us? <laughs> wow, okay. Um, the I will ask you another time, why didn't you prepare me for that question? Uh, <laughs> but I actually have, a, I have, I've been thinking about this recently because I, I, I went to see Interstellar, oh. um, which is this movie that, that's, that's uh, been really easy to criticize. Uh, I've seen it three times. I think it's, I think it's one of those, those uh, hidden gems. It's, mm. it's really philosophically rich. Um, one of the things it does is, it, is it, it, it gave me a new image of God, a new metaphor for how God might communicate to people. Hmm. And uh, so if you think about, if we were to be communicating with uh, people tens of thousands of years ago, like the apes at the start of 2001 Space Odyssey, if we tried to communicate using the language we're using now, they wouldn't understand it. Um, it, w it, would, it would seem like completely beyond their comprehension. And if there is a higher intelligence, if there is a, a, a divine being who is, you know, incomparable love, um, we are not that being. <laughs> you know, we as human beings are... are, are uh, at least smaller than that being. And so the way we communicate isn't going to be the same way that that being communicates. That being would have to find a way to communicate with us that made sense, that we could grasp. Um, and so I think, first of all, there's two parts to my response. It's not an answer. It's just a response right. to your question about why does God hide from us. One is I don't think God has a, a necessarily has an option in, 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 in the matter. God cannot present God's self to us in a way that would be totally clean and clear. I think Frederick Buechner says somewhere that if he, if he ever had a, a, a self-authenticating experience of God, he couldn't imagine that happening without also being killed by the experience because of the massiveness uh, of it. It'd be like having a, a self-authenticating self experience of journeying to the sun. Right. You'd, you'd get killed in, in the process. The, the second part is... I'm an old school guy when it comes to the purpose of free will and the reason there's evil in the world is because human beings make choices and sometimes those choices have shadows um, and the reason that God allows free will to continue is because it's better than dictatorship and tyranny, it's better than making us into robots. If you, if you think about, if you have, you know, I don't have children, but people who have children have choices about are we going to create little clones of ourselves and force them to be entirely like us or are we going to let them learn through their mistakes so the second part to my response is god wants to be discovered rather than wants to make us robots life is more fun and more rich and more like life when we get to unfold it collaboratively rather than just being I have an image of, of the, the, the a, a bird waiting for its mother to digest the food and then just kind of give it to, to, to it in a sort of a soylent green everything's prepackaged there there are no options here everybody that's my thought I don't I have, I have no follow-up that was lovely everybody that is Gareth Higgins you can find him at garethhiggins.net I'd encourage you to check it out thank you sir Hey, thank you.